Markita Vondrausova had overcome the odds throughout the last fortnight at Wimbledon and the Czech did so again in the women's final on Saturday. Beating favorite Ons Jabour to become the first unseated woman in the open era to win the famous tournament. The world number 42, who was playing in her first Grand Slam final, beat the number. 6 seed 6-4, six, 6-4 four, six, four on center court to make history. Not since Serena Williams in 2018, when the American was ranked 181 in the world. Has a female player ranked so low in the world reached the Wimbledon final? The last unseeded woman to do so was Billie Jean King in 1963. At the start of the tournament, no one expected Vondrausova to be competing in the championship match, not even the player herself whose husband had remained in the Czech Republic until the final to look after their cat, Frankie. But Jabour became the fifth-seeded player to fall to the 24-year-old in this tournament as her unpredictability proved difficult for her opponents to overcome. With the Tunisian particularly struggling despite having numerous opportunities to take control of the match, History would have been made no matter which of the finalists had lifted the Venus Rosewater dish, but the enormity of the occasion weighed heavier on Jabour, who has now lost a second successive Wimbledon final with this, she said after the defeat, being the most painful of her career. This was her third loss in a major final, but that is what pressure does to a player, especially one carrying the hopes of not only a nation but a continent while also trying to grapple with her own expectations, dreams and past failures. Jabour again came close to becoming the first Arab and African woman to win a Grand Slam, but her 31 unforced errors proved costly and the wait goes on. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to come back stronger, she told center court while also wiping away the tears. Jabour had plenty of opportunities in the first set in particular, but secured only two of seven break points and made 17 unforced errors. Statistics she would come to regret as Vondrausova took control. The finalists traded breaks in the second and third games of the match drawing level at 2-2 after a series of absorbing, lengthy baseline battles. More breaks followed, four in the opening seven games, as nerves infiltrated their play, adding to the tension. Vondrausova, the unpredictable underdog who varied her play brilliantly, kept changing the pace and spin on the ball and eventually she took the first set, securing the crucial break in the ninth game to serve out the set. Jabour was left shaking her head as she was broken in the opening game of the second set, her opponent rattling off six games in a row to put herself in the ascendancy. The momentum shift was a surprise, but Vondrausova has rattled opponents throughout these last two weeks. When it's impossible to predict what shot will come next, seeds of doubts start to play with the mind. But things can change quickly in tennis and just when Jabour seemed to be dangling off the precipice. At 40-0 down on Vondrausova serve she broke back to level the match. Hope was restored, and a nation breathed a little easier. Jabour was still unable, however, to inflict the killer blow on Vondrausova who refused to yield, breaking back to continue the unpredictable nature of the match. At 4-4, Vondrausova broke Jabour and served out for the match. Falling to the grass as the enormity of her achievement hit her, 